how much knowledge is enough to get a job if you are learning design automation you are learning it uh, for any cad software and you are getting this question for yourself then this video is for you in this video i am going to tell you what exactly companies evaluate when they interview you for cad customization role and i will also give you three areas to focus while learning that will help you what skill sets exactly you need to focus on so with this get started when any company any interviewer is interviewing you for a cad customization role be it any cad software if you are preparing if you are learning cad automation uh, automation and if you are facing an interview interviewer is only looking to get this out of that interview your ability to write solution independently your ability to write the program or the piece of program independently this is what they excel evaluate that's it so in order to get there you must focus on various areas of learning so what are these three areas to focus here i am not talking about the programming skill set i am not talking about your knowledge of cad apis or even anything else i am talking about the soft skill set that you must focus on on top of the technical competency to get into job so let's begin with the first one when you are learning cad apis that time you go through the set of apis the designated curriculum as such and you learn cad apis through through that for those topics but that is not just enough what i mean by discovery mode is once you learn few set of apis as a as a part of your learning there are basically lot of apis available to use and all of those apis you will only come across when you get into the typical type of requirement where you want to use apis which you have not learned as a part of curriculum or as a part of the standard designated program that you have gone through so discovery mode meaning is that you must able to find out the relevant api that you can use for your requirement and uh you must able to use that api successfully in your program discovery have two areas first is finding the relevant api and using that successfully into your program the next area to focus is debugging or error solving once you found the piece of code once you write the piece of code for your program it might work in some situations it might not work in some situations depending on how you are doing that particular stuff via that piece of code so you have to have ability 
to make it work in any given situation your program shall work at any given situation and to make it happen you must having you must be having an error solving ability you must be able to find out the reasons behind error in your program and and you must able to solve those rectify those and fix those errors so if you stuck up somewhere in your program you are not able to find out the cause behind error you are not able to understand what error your program is throwing then you must focus on this area you must improve this situation for yourself now the third the last but not the least is object hierarchy so any program uh, not program but any cad api structure has has some object hierarchy that's been followed for example let's say you wanted to create some sketch entities for that reason if you are doing that manually even manually then that time you first must create a sketch on any of the plane and then you will be able to create this sketch entities so you must be in a sketch mode and to in order to get into sketch mode you must be selecting one of the plane on which you are going to create the sketch so these are the two prerequisite for creating sketch entities and this can be resonated with the object hierarchy in order to access the smallest level object in that hierarchy you must follow that object hierarchy from the top and then you can get to that particular level where you are selecting or accessing that particular object bottom level object to work on so if you wanted to work on sketch entity you must first take the access of top level object which is the sketch object itself if you wanted to work with if you wanted to access the sketch relation then you must have access to the sketch entity itself and on top of that that's particular sketch itself so this is how you follow the object hierarchy to get there and if you know this object hierarchy you will be basically able to discover the apis that you are not aware of before and use that in your program if you are missing if your fundamentals about object hierarchy are not clear you won't be able to be good at these two areas that is discovery and debugging or error solving so these are the three top important areas to focus while learning cad automation and this is what it this is what which will help you get inside job so that's it in this video i hope you got the valuable insight i would love to know what you got from this video through your comments so please comment below and let me know what you think about this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next one